What's up everybody, my name is Goose and we are back for another episode of $5 Friday, this time featuring a bird story. It's another bird game. It's supposed to be pretty short, no dialogue, allegedly, and it's about a bird. The dude who finds a bird. So, we're gonna give it a go. Uh, yep, okay, cool. I don't know how much the mouse is gonna play into this, but we're gonna find out. Anyways, hi. Mm -hmm. I have a young person who's climbing the bush at their balcony, I think. Birds. Several of them, in fact. It's going to be up to me to narrate the story, which is going to go spectacularly well, given that it's, you know, me. He's got a paper airplane. He's lining it up. Throwing it. And off the screen it goes. Kind of looked back for it for a second, and then decided that he's okay with littering. Now he's going... they're going to bed. It's night time, so... And then the bush kind of just lingered. There's some papers. Okay. They're at a desk. They've got a book. You're going to their rainbow quilted bed. Having a nap. Graphics are very Stardew-esque. Which is interesting for me to know it as I've never played Stardew. And yet, here we are. Shadow of some birds, two of them, by the looks of it. We're off in the woods somewhere, maybe. Mm hmm. I haven't actually done anything except click start yet. That's actually all I've contributed to the story other than narrating. If this is how the rest of this is going to go, we may actually not upload this. Because that kind of defeats the purpose of $5 Friday. Doesn't it? Ah, uh, here we go. Why can't I go that way? Interesting. Okay. Paper has assembled itself into the paper airplane. Okay, now we're flying backwards on the paper airplane. There's a shadow of a bird on our head, which I've only just noticed. We're doing a lot of this backwards walking thing. I don't know what the deal is. But there's like a clock over our head every time we do the backwards walk. Alright, we're just, like, taking the lights out with us, I guess. We go here to merge with ourself. That's the first forward step we've taken all day. There's a clock chiming. Can't tell if it reads 3pm or 12.15. 3pm by the looks of it. We're in school now. If you're confused, don't worry, so am I. Can I just leave? I don't want to be here anymore. Look, if we wanted to do the school thing, we'd go back to kindergarten. We're looking out off to the right. Uh, I guess there's a window into like the woods or something. There's some squirrels. This kid is paying more attention to the squirrels in the tree than class. The teacher has stopped writing and has realized that the child is not paying attention anymore. Doink. Oh, stole the paper airplane, threw it to the teacher. Teacher's not mad, square root 1764 equals cat. I don't think that's how that math works out. 
Also, if you watch this video, leave the square root of 1764 in the chat, or in the comments. Oh, that kid stole our paper airplane, threw it to the teacher, and then ratted us out. What a meanie. Well, guess we're leaving. Okay, I guess we're not leaving. The teacher is displeased. We no longer have the ability to interact. Two more shadows. We seem to be the only, like, corporeal entity. Everything else is shadows. I guess the squirrels were corporeal, too. Uh-huh. I don't give a shit. I'm leaving. No. You yelled at me. You blamed me for the other kid throwing the paper airplane. When, in fact, it was the other kid's fault. I don't know why I chose this direction, other than this is the way the other kids were going, so... This is also opposite the way we were allowed to go last time. Can I not climb the slide? No, it doesn't let me. That's not fair. I want to climb the slide. I just... Okay. If you get too close to him, the kids vanish. The other kids vanish. Ah, I do have an assigned location here. It's the seesaw. But no one else wants to play with me, so I'm just that kid by myself on the seesaw. Kind of curious what was the other way, but not curious enough to run all the way over there, because this kid does not move quickly. Can I go back to the other area now? Sure can, okay. It's not like blocked off or anything. Which I don't know why I was expecting it to be, but I kind of was expecting it to be. This game seems to be more story than game, which is interesting because there's no words at all. So it's not really all that much story either. It's very strange. 152. Can we go inside 152? We sure can. Can we... Ah, we do have to hit enter. Okay. This shadow person is in the elevator with us. Going up, I assume. We awkwardly stepped away from them, which is fair and valid. Okay, we got off on the floor before they did. Nope, that's not a door. Uh-oh. That's not a door we can access either. There's shadow mice. This looks like it's the door that's supposed to be ours. Yep, it sure is. At least I think it is. Yep, it is, okay. Cool, let us in. Where does the bird come in? We're ten minutes in and no bird. Where's the bird? Hmm. Power is flickering. That means those bulbs need to be replaced, buddy. There's a note. We're going to read it, but not tell you what it says. Least helpful note ever. Presumably it just means mom and dad are gone and you're on your own for dinner tonight. Since it was taped to the fridge. Turn the light on and then immediately leave. Could have done it over there. What are you peeking around corners for? You went in there like it was not a problem. Oh, you're going to jump on the bed. That's what you're going to do. Good job, kid. I hope you don't get caught. 
I hope you don't get in trouble. You deserved it. You deserve a little treat. After the day you've had. Ah yes, our room. I got put on a pile with a... A desk with a pile of suspiciously similar looking notes. Almost like this is a regular occurrence for the child. Ooh, hungry. Remember five minutes ago when I said it was, you're on your own for dinner tonight? You're on your own for dinner tonight, bud. I figured out the little sparkles mean it's, there's an interactable object there. So we're learning. But there is a method to this madness. Yeah. Eat your cereal in front of the TV. You watch your cartoons. You've earned them. Yep, yeah, back to the book. You gotta study too. Dungeons and Dragons isn't gonna learn itself. You gotta learn that 5th edition player's handbook by end of next week. Best be learning. Ah, yes, the paper airplane. Flying it around the house, yep. Throwing it at the door. You hit the door. I think. Are you scratching your face or picking your nose? It's so hard to tell. Making notes? Big yawn. out it looks like the kid is falling asleep I'm getting tired something just jump on our back in the middle of the night or are we having a dream now I hear birds Step in the right direction. Doink. Fucking perfect aim. Seven o'clock in the morning, by the way. Can't believe you slept at your desk the whole day. That sounds... that feels awful. The kid has realized he's acquired a bag or a cape or a poncho or something. It's very hard to tell with these graphics. But he got something, and it glows slightly. Okay, brushing your teeth. Good job. Proud of you. Okay, it's not gonna make us use the toilet. I'd like the glowing thing, please. The fucking tuba rolling in is superb. All right, it doesn't let me take it. Whatever it is. All right, fine, we're leaving. No backpack, no books, nothing. Oh, there's a note on the door. Oh, alright, it's gonna make us get our backpack then. We drew a picture of ourselves flying through the sky with a paper airplane. I love it. Yep, take your book too, it's important. Hell yeah, get that muffin. I filled up three bars of muffin. I don't know what that means, but it seems good. Hmm. It's supposed to rain, so we're gonna take the umbrella. That explains what that vaguely sword-shaped object by the door was. It's an umbrella in fact. Wait a minute, this is different from what the outside was before. I didn't want to wait. I'm impatient. I got things to do. I got class to get to. 
We just like shortcut it straight to class. I guess to save us all the fucking reverse walking of what we did yesterday. Kid went straight to sleep. Just instant out cold. That's how you get in trouble yesterday, dude. You weren't paying attention, and the kid next to you stole your paper airplane. Got you in trouble. You're gonna get in trouble again for not paying attention in class. Or you're just gonna sleep through the bell and you're gonna get stuck in school and- Oop, teachers caught you. You're in trouble now. You're fucking busted, kid. Don't kick the kid, that's rude. Don't kick children. I mean, definitely don't. Okay, so it actually goes nowhere to the left. So, we chose correctly last time, which is kind of what I assumed. I kind of just assumed. Follow the masses and we'll be fine, you know? What's everybody waiting for? Y'all don't have umbrellas? Space bar to jump. Cool, we have a jump button now. It's about the same speed as walking. Doesn't really save us any time, which is kind of a shame. Hey, where's the bird come in? This is supposed to be a story about a bird. Where's the bird? Speak of the devil. I believe we've just encountered the bird. I was gonna say, because we're 17 minutes in, and there's no fucking bird yet. It's just us. But there's a... a badger? Chasing the bird? This child is lucky they didn't get fucking mauled by that badger. Badgers are savage little creatures. You should have let you should have just left, buddy. But thank you for saving the bird. Yep, give me the buttons again so I can jump like the bird did. I wanna be friends with the bird. I think the bird got hurt and can't fly away. I would like to help the bird, please. I gotta go this way? I don't have the jump button anymore, so... Do I just leave and let the badger come back? No, I leave and then the bird decides it needs help again. No, you do leave and the badger comes back. Okay. That's right. Ooh, you threw a rock at that badger. That badger's gonna be mad as hell. Oh, you threw your backpack. Never mind. I changed my mind. Then you didn't notice the bird hopped in. So now you have a bag with a bird in it. Got item bird. 19 minutes to get the bird, in case anyone was wondering. But hey, we got a bird now. Question mark? Eh? Oh! Bird! Haha. Ah, cute little bird. This kid's thinking, this is just like Pokemon. I went in the wild and fought off a creature and caught a bird. And I mean, you're kind of right. It's kind of like Pokemon. Okay, that tree is intent on me not going back that way. Okay.
Okay, I guess we're going a different direction. We're not going home today. We're going where the trees will allow us to go, which is this way. Ah, yes. The animal hospital. That makes a degree of sense, as the bird was injured. Alright, fine, we'll go inside. Knock, knock. Who's there? Sorry. Alright, I guess we get to keep the bird. Nobody at the animal hospital answered, so the bird is ours forever now. Are we back home already? That was quick. Why didn't we go this way yesterday? This feels like it was faster than yesterday's walk home. Does this apartment building have a no pets rule? It sure does. Yeah, just don't say anything. Sit down, shut up, and don't talk about the bird in your bag. You don't have x-ray vision, so... Whatever, you can't see my bird. As long as the bird shuts up for 20 seconds to get upstairs. Like, that's all it takes to shut up for like 2 seconds so we can get upstairs. That person in the elevator with us is absolutely going to hear the bird. <laughs> and see the bird. There you go. Now it's your turn to be weirded out. Alright, end of the hall, as I recall. Hey, that rhymed. Totally not on purpose, though. Totally normal behavior from this strange child who lives in this apartment seemingly by themselves. You're gonna look around, you know your parents aren't here. They they never they're never home. Your parents don't exist, basically. Still proven otherwise. Parents don't exist. Ah, uh, that's where the light switch is. Yep, get the note. Guess what, you're on your own for dinner again today, kid. Turn the light on. There's like a microscope on the fucking desk in the parents room. I'm assuming that's the parents room. No real reason other than because. It needed set decoration, I guess. Yep, put that with the other ones that are exactly like it. Maybe it's meant to be a lamp like the one we have on our desk. I've only just noticed that. Anyways, outside now. Put the bag on the floor, let the bird out. Hello, bird. You're my new best friend, bird. Maybe don't let the bird that can't currently fly off the balcony. It's not gonna end well for the bird. Or maybe it will if the bird is smart enough to just hang out here for a while. Don't shit on the laundry or I'll be mad. Bird water. Bird needs water. Okay, we can get the bird water. I can do that. Yep, you gotta go in the bathroom to get water, because god forbid you have running water in the kitchen. Alright, we're just taking care of a bird now. That's the game. Just take care of the bird. Put it next to the bush, so that it can nest maybe in the bush. Tree thing. Bird is hungry. Don't give birds bread, by the way. It's not good for most birds. 
It's literally just empty calories and zero nutrients that their bodies can't process. Their brains think they're full, but they actually aren't getting anything out of it, and they it can actually cause serious harm or kill them. Ducks especially. Do not give bread to ducks. Because in addition to that, but also, like, when they don't eat it, because they can't eat all of it, it kind of just grows mold and algae and stuff in the water that's not good for the ducks. So, you know, don't give bread to ducks. Public service announcements. It's probably in the bush. Yep, sure enough. It's just, it did exactly what I expected it would do and nested in the bush. You put the water there and now it nested there. Just hide behind the laundry and it won't see you. Playing peekaboo with this bird. Peek a bird. Now he's laughing at the bird. Now we're ripping the bread into little pieces for the bird. Now we're looking off the balcony. You gonna make another paper airplane today out of the note from your parents who don't live here? Birds making little chirpy chirpy noises. It's three in the morning by the looks of it. Swear to God, if that badger is back. No, the birds are just pacing on the windowsill. Because it's trapped and can't get out. Oh, it wants to leave. It wants to go see the other birds. Understandable. It wants to fly with the other birds. It can't fly, it's injured. Hmm. Guess we're gonna have to teach the bird how to fly again. Yeah, it can jump still, but... Gotta be careful, birdie. you get that bird fresh water before you leave. Don't want the bird to be thirsty. Or is it going to come in back, and back in the house and hide in the backpack again? Huh? It's just going to let itself in the house. What the fuck did this child just do? Okay. He's just Mary Poppinsing. As one does. He just Mary Poppins off his fucking balcony. With just an umbrella and the bird in a backpack. Which for the record would kill a normal human being. As an umbrella is not a good parachute. It only works in cartoons and video games. Guess we're going on an adventure with the bird instead of going to school today. School's not really important when there are birds anyway. Unless it's bird school. Or animal doctor school. Okay, they're gonna take a look at the bird. 
Then you remember you live in America and you don't have $6,000 to get this bird's wing fixed. Medicine. Give it to the doctor. It's They're spraying some kind of medicine onto the bird. Uh, bowl. I see it. Bowl looks like an ashtray, not gonna lie. But it's just a bird bath of sorts. Or they're just filling it with water for the bird. Uh, I don't know where that object is. Aha! I guessed correctly. There's only so many places they could hide it and it wasn't visible, so I'm like, well, it's probably in the thing. Is closet. Whatever that thing is. Sounds like they're bandaging up the bird. Bird. Doctor. Bird Animal Hospital. It's charades, except I have to guess with little pictograms. This Pictionary is what it is. Let me have the bird. Bird likes me the most. Bird doesn't want to stay here anyways. No, don't get the bird a cage, let the bird be free. Yeah, that's right kid, you know what to do. Open your bag and let the bird in. Yeah, the bird and the boy are going to be gone. Guaranteed, you will not see them again. Yep. Sure enough. Run, kid. Skip out on your vet bill. That's right, don't pay the vet. Do pay your vet, though. If you have pets and you need to take them to the vet, pay your vet. But in this instance, just this one instance, I'm advocating for the child not to pay the vet. All right. Bird wants to leave, it's still injured by the looks of it. <sighs> There's the alarm, again. Can I use Wasit to move, or does it have to be the arrow keys? Yep. Brush your teeth. Check on your little buddy. Just throw a whole piece of bread up there. Bird will figure it out. This is an animal of some kind. Hard to tell if it's a dog or a cat or something else entirely. It's looking out the window again. This is how you get in trouble, kid. Have you learned nothing from the first day? He's playing paper airplane with the bird. Now the bird's running away with your paper airplane. I don't know what you expected, but it should have been that. Okay, so Wasid does not work. It has to be the arrow keys. The soundtrack's good, though. This is like our living room, except it's outside instead of inside. Now we're back inside. How is this bird not shit on something you love so far? I mean, it probably has, and we're just not seeing it. Now it's raining inside the apartment. Okay, we're outside with our little bird friend. It's raining. Bird doesn't seem to mind. K 
kid no longer minds and is now playing in the water. We have to compete for jumping with the with the bird. We were losing to a bird. We were full on losing this. We almost lost to the bird. Now the bird's helping us study. Oh, we sneezed. Now we giggled because the bird doesn't understand sneeze. Hey, the bird understands fetch kind of almost. No, it doesn't. It ran away again anyways. Oh, and it threw it in the water. Now it's a boat. It was a plane. Now it's a boat. Look and speak. Oh, show and tell. God damn, I'm dumb. And then we have to go chase our bird. Bird was show and tell today, by the way. Bird is good show and tell. Oh no, not the street. Ooh, ice cream. Did you get one for your bird? There's ducks in the water. Or geese. I choose to believe those are geese. Yep, give the bird some ice cream. It took the whole thing, because it's greedy. No, it didn't. It gave it back. You shared, though. Yeah, that sounds like a duck. Honk, honk. Oh my god, this bird is going to get hit by a car. Fuck you. I'm walking here. Does the bird want to play? Does the bird even know how to play? It's thinking about it. Hey, we have friends now. Or at least we have a bird. That's kind of like a friend. Doink. It just launched us into space. Actually into space. To the moon. It's okay, we have a magic bubble to protect us from the lack of atmosphere in space. <laughs> Now we're studying outside with our bird friend. No, we're just ripping pages out of the book to make paper airplanes. And the bird brought it back to us for a change. Good job, bird friend. Might have to sneeze. Hang on. Nope, we're good. Okay. We're just going to steal a bunch of bread. This kid is really big on stealing. Doesn't seem to have money. Maybe he lives in a world where money doesn't matter. Nope, he has money. Okay. Hey, the child has money. This is where we found the bird the first time, right? The trees, like, moved out of the way like Moses parting the Red Sea. Yep, we're having memories of chasing the badger off. Which was a old-ass choice, considering that it's a fucking badger. And this child looks like grade school age still. Bird. It's a bluebird. It's a different bird than the one we have at home. The one we have at home is brown. Is it going to steal our bread? That's our bird bread. No, it's just going to fly away because we got too close. Alright, now we're back home. We're back with bird. Bird is the most important part of this story as the story is named after the bird. Yep, look out the window, you'll see that bird is still there. 
Time said it's fucking 10 after 11 at night? This child needs to be in bed. You need to go to sleep, child. Bird is hungry. You left the bread in the other room. Okay, now we're on the roof with Bird and Book. We're gonna make another paper airplane for Bird. Bird really wants to fly again, I can tell. Bird is really sad about the fact that its wing doesn't work and it can't fly on its own. Sorry, did that kid- was that kid about to magic a paper airplane? We're gonna make a huge paper airplane, aren't we? Yes, we are. Alright. Get to it, kid. Shred that entire fucking book if you have to. You're not reading it anyways. Besides, you can find PDFs of it online. It's fine. Whatever book it is. In my head, it's the 5th edition player's handbook, which you can definitely find PDFs of online. Yeah, make a mega paper airplane. Big enough for your little birdie buddy. That's not how that would work in real life, by the way. But this isn't real life. This is a video game, so the rules don't have to apply. That's right. Make the paper airplane for the bird. It deserves it. Right. Launch your mighty vessel. And now you and the bird can fly together. I know what you're thinking. Don't sing the song or Disney will sue me. I don't have to take the video down. Oh, we have paper airplane controls now. Cool. We have a fucking turbo boost too? Hell yeah. We're just flying over the city, getting the views in. Flash of white, and we've teleported to a new location, to the mountain. There's a lake. Ooh, there's a platform. Let the bird free. Bird wants to live here on this flying, floating island platform thing. Nope, bird does not want to live here. This island has already been claimed by those other birds. Not that one. Okay. So the goal is to find bird a new nest. Where it can live happily with the other birds. Without the other birds. Did I pass one in the cityscape? Is that what happened? Am I going to have to go all the way back, or can I just find one in the correct location? Here we go. Tropical. Looks real nice. What do you think, bird? Well, this one's claimed to. Probably you don't want to stay in the cityscape. Those pigeons are... You don't want to hang out with the pigeons there. I might have to go back. We're gonna press on forward in case we don't have to go back, and we don't want to waste all that time. This is pretty, pretty nice looking too. Nice little mesa. Still got palm trees. Still looks nice. Well, 
this one's got birds too. Onward. Hey, look at this. Waterfalls. Lots of rivers, lots of forest, plenty of space for a bird. There's two eggs in that nest already though, which tells me that a bird already lives here. I feel like there's room on this mountain for both of us. This is real pretty though. Apparently all you have to do is just make a paper airplane and then you can fly through the skies endlessly. There we go. This one has eggs in it too. Yep, sure enough. There's birds here too. This one's a little more like home. Little mountains, little rivers, some waterfalls. Real nice, but already claimed. Big birds just gonna have to live with us forever. Or for however long this species of bird lives, probably not forever. I don't know, I'm not an expert on avian lifespans, so. Some people that might be better equipped to handle this question than are not me, but. And then you just magic your book back together? I don't think that's how that works. But what do I know? Bird, are you gonna live with us forever now? We gotta go to sleep. You can stay in the bush. It's fine. I'll give you fresh water in the morning, because you'll probably drink what's in there. And poop all over everything. Uh oh. Parent is home. Or is this teacher? It's hard to say for sure. Somebody's here. They're not happy with us. Oh, it's the vet. That's who it is. It took me a minute to process white lab coat. That's the vet. Yeah, you keep hiding with your bird. I hit the wrong button because I wasn't looking where my fingers were. They moved. That alarm is super annoying. So we're just hiding from the vet forever now? the bird. Can't leave without bird. Alright, I guess we can leave without bird. I don't want to, though. Book it. Right, we're back in school again. Uh oh. The vet's here, the teacher's here. Run. This is legally distinct Benny Hill theme. Yep, legally distinct Benny Hill theme. Run, kid. Did he just Mario kick them? He sure did try. Legally distinct video game. Who is this person? Oh, it's us, but without a face. That's concerning. Oh, 
No face, the evil version of us, just shut us out of all those doors. <sighs> I was expecting this game to be shorter and we're approaching an hour. Birds. Can bird fly yet? No, bird cannot fly. That's a shame. Hey bird. Bird, you look better. Can you fly now? Also, this child knows they can't avoid teacher forever, right? Like, they have to go back to school at some point. Oh, the child looks sad. Bird can use its wing again, can't it? Bird? Animal hospital? Home, huh? Yep, it's raining. We got that. I I can hear it. Take the umbrella. Bring it with you. You're gonna need it. Can't even jump in the puddles? Come on. Let us play with the bird. Yep, I'm waiting. Alright, fuck it, I'm just going. Okay, that's supposed to take us to school. It took us to the woods instead. Oh, is bird better and that's why we're sad? Because we have to release bird today? No, we're back at the animal hospital. We're here to apologize to the vet for running off without paying the bill. Knowing full well that we don't have money to pay for the bill now. Oh, we're having all the memories of Bird. Kid doesn't want to give up Bird. You played paper airplane with Bird. Of course Bird wants to stay with you. Bird is like the only thing that talks to you. Even the other students don't like you. Do we run off again? Are we about to? Oh, it's no face again. Uh-oh, we're cornered. Make it quickly. Craft quicker. Teacher and vet are coming. That's right, we have achieved the power of flight. I think the bird just wants to live in the woods near our house, or maybe just like on our th thing. Balcony, that's the word I was looking for. Oop, we got hit by lightning. 
Still flying though. I think it's scripted that we get hit more times. This kid is gonna die if the paper airplane falls apart and you fall. Like we're very high up, there's no surviving this for child. Honestly, if the bird can't fly, it's probably not gonna make it either. That'd be a shame. Yep, there goes the paper airplane. Pretty much what I expected. Child is falling, there's a piece of paper. But does Bird know how to fold it into a paper airplane? That's the question. Or is it just going to magically fold itself into paper airplane? Child seems to have survived this. Taking a tumble into the woods somewhere, there's paper scattered everywhere. Yep, child's eyes are open. Okay, but where's Bird? It's the only thing we care about. Where's Bird? I hear lots of bird song. Where's Bird? Okay, there's our backpack. Bird is not in the backpack. Confirmed. Oh. Hey. Did bird find a nest? Or did this other bird find... Okay. That's a dead bird being carried off by an alive bird. Perhaps not the best place for our bird friend. Or maybe it is, as there's no longer birds there. But we seem to have friends at school now. Human friends. Not just bird friend. Hi. Can I play on the slide now? I've been trying to play on the slide this whole fucking game and it just will not let me. Okay, everybody waves at me, so we're all friends now, I guess, but... Where's Bird? Game is somewhat ambiguous about where I should be going right now, so I'm gonna go look for Bird. Bird? Here's a piece of paper. Okay. It's trying to fold itself into a paper airplane. Or it's just being picked up by the wind. It's hard to say for sure. Yeah, this is where we met Bird. All those days ago. Bird? Yep. We hang out with Bird here. Fucking plant is blocking me. Okay, but where's Bird? That's the only thing I care about in this game. We're back at home. Is Bird at home waiting for us? That'd be great. It's gonna be really sad if Bird's not here. All of that was for nothing, and we don't even get to hang out with Bird anymore. I 
music has taken a really somber tone, and I'm concerned that we will never see Bird again. Hello? Bird? The hallway got very plain for that section there. Okay. Shockingly, there's a note on the fridge. Telling us we're on our own for dinner again today. There's a radio or something by that chair over there. Uh, are we try re trying to reassemble the magic paper airplane? So that we can find Bird again? Oh, he's looking for Bird. It's really sad, there's no Bird. Outside for bird. Bird might come back. You don't know. Bird is our only friend. The other children mean nothing to us. Bird is the only friend. The paper is assembling. It's moving. Or are we just getting more of it? It's hard to tell. It seems like we're time lapsing forward. Yep, okay, we're just getting more of the papers. We're picking them up. Apparently this kid has a fucking superpower in which he can make a paper airplane big enough for himself to fly on it, and then he can control it with his mind. I understand why people in white coats would be chasing after him. Yeah, paper airplane it. You know what to do. Right for bird. Chirp. Chirp, chirp. I hear it. It's tapping on the window. It's three o'clock in the morning, bird, please. We need to sleep. We have school in the morning. <laughs> Not that this child has ever been diligent in his studies, but... Bird is back! Bird! Bird, our only friend! And Bird brought its friend. Bird can fly again on its own. It wants us to take the bandage off so it can fly unweighted. Yep. There you go, bird. Thank you, bird. Thank you, bird, for coming back and telling us you're okay. Child was worried. You brought us the paper airplane back. You remembered fetch. Bird, I'm so proud of you. Anyways. 
I think we're getting close to wrapping up here. This feels like the end of the game. Thanks, bird. Oh, they hugged. It's very sweet. What a very profound moment for the bird and the boy. Go ahead, bird. Be free. Goodbye, bird. We're gonna direct big Reeves. Go. And that was a bird story. Very, very simple game. I don't know why I was expecting, like, more button presses and stuff. There was very little actual game to it, which is not a problem. But it's more just enjoying the visuals than anything, because the story is really... There's no words either. Feels like I fucked up my thumb. Totally unrelated to the matter at hand, but... Hey. Bird is back where Bird belongs. Back in the free bird world. I don't think I can skip the credits, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so that was a bird story. As you can see, very simple. Not at all anything to it. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this game, Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash nucleargoose23. If you have any suggestions for future games, make sure you leave a comment below or join my Discord. Let me know there. I'll leave that link in the description as well as my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash nucleargoose23 is where I do most of my work. And... That's pretty much all I got for $5 Friday. So... This boy is about to throw the paper airplane again. And start over. I think he's about to start over. Is there more? I thought we were done. I did the outro and everything. <laughs> I put it back in his book. Closed his book. Okay. Sometimes you gotta just take a break and do a nice chill easy game. Finding Paradise. The child seems to have grown up over time. Coming one day. Oh, that's a different game. That's a coming attraction for next time. Freebirdgames.com And then some socials that aren't me. Alright, hey. If you like this game, make sure you follow. Make sure you follow and subscribe. Like and subscribe. That's the words. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash nucleargoose23. That as well as my Discord will be linked in the description below. If you have any suggestions for future Five Dollar Fridays, leave a comment below or leave it on my Discord. And I will see you all with the next one. Take care, everybody.